Hey friends, welcome back. Today is Tuesday, July 18th, and we have our grandsons with us still, so it is busy, busy at our house. I had a scheduled lab work appointment this afternoon that I had to go to because I follow up with my hematologist next week. Um, if you've been around here, you know that I have iron deficiency anemia. I just had two iron infusions last month. So they're just checking my numbers. I feel amazing, so much better. So I'm sure after those two infusions, my numbers are better. So I left my teenagers in charge of the three littles, Evan, Tommy, and Danny. And Brian works from home, so he's there. And when I get home, it'll be lunchtime. We're gonna have lunch. And then Evan has speech therapy this afternoon. That's all we have scheduled. And um, we got the main living spaces cleaned today. Like not just picked up, but vacuumed and surface cleaned. And um, after lunch, I'm gonna try to finish working on, I wanna get a couple more subjects totally planned out and organized. And we're in the home stretch. We start on Monday. so back to our homeschool year. Um, it is going to be 108 today and the heat index will be more than that so we will not be going outside. It is painfully hot and I'm having to water my garden um, twice a day and I think at some point very soon I'm just gonna have to give it up. I know that my, my cucumbers need to be pulled up. They totally stopped producing anything and the vines have shriveled up even though I water them twice a day they just can't handle this 108 degree heat and then my tomatoes I only have a few more um, I only have a few more that are forming and then from what I've been reading you know I didn't have any garden success last year and once temperatures hit like 95 and up and stay there that tomatoes won't blossom anymore so I have a bunch of tomato plants that I started later that have not flowered yet ever, not produced anything, but they look fantastic. So I'm keeping them in the shade. So I'm hoping I can at least keep those alive until cooler temperatures come. Um, but it's like fighting an uphill battle every morning when I go out there. I spend about 30 minutes watering and just thinking, why am I doing this? But I don't have the heart to just give up on my plants yet. So. All that to say, tonight I'm going to pull up some of our things if the, you know, it's still like 95 degrees at 8 o'clock at night. It's so crazy. So it just really wipes you out. So I've got to really be, be in the mood, but all, you know, so we're going to be staying inside. The kids, the little kids have watched way more TV than I would like, but you know, after you can only play so much. <laughs> and then they just wanna go outside, it's so hard. So um, I'm gonna go home. I made some sourdough sandwich bread for everybody from Farmhouse on Boone's re um, website. And I think it turned out really well. So I'm going to, I froze one loaf, it made two small loaves. So I think we're gonna have sandwiches on that. I made tacos last night and have quite a bit of taco meat left. And so um, I think we're gonna have like taco salad and cornbread tonight. I started thawing out a pork tenderloin, but it's not gonna be thawed in time. So I think I'm gonna wait and do that tomorrow. So let's get home and get these people fed. <laughs> Do you want to go to sleep? Uh, uh, no. no. <laughs> I think we should take a bubble bath. We have two hours to kill. It's okay. okay, I've got wheels on the bus going in the background for the boys, but I put, oh, sorry, it's hot. I put in two pork tenderloins and I'm following a recipe from Six Sisters Stuff. I will link it before, below. I added a jar of apricot preserves, fresh thyme from the garden, salt, pepper to taste, um, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, 
and a cup of chicken broth, and I'm gonna cook this on low all day. I also am gonna slice a red onion and put it in there too. Are you feeling? Turn the camera around for one second so they can see why I'm laughing, please. Did you? No. Please? No. Okay, he's wearing a Captain America face mask. He was playing with Evan, so it's making me laugh. Okay, so yesterday I started some yogurt in our Instapot and it basically is the cost of a gallon of milk and it makes that much yogurt. So my Instapot has a yogurt cycle, so I poured the gallon of milk in here and then selected the boil cycle on the yogurt. And then once it was boiling, I let it cool down to 110 degrees and then stirred in my starter, which was a half a cup of plain yogurt. And then it, it cooked for, you can choose either 12 hours or 24 hours, but the 12 hour would have been the middle of the night. So I chose the 24 hour. And then I can link this below. It's called Euro Cuisine. It is a strainer. So it has this little mesh thing. So it usually takes two times because it's so, whoa, sorry. So much yogurt. Um, so this strains. And then what is left in here is the yogurt. And I add a fourth a cup of sugar to a gallon of yogurt, so just a little bit, and some vanilla. And then I have these little cups that I can also link below, and they have plastic lids. And so if I, the, the kids, I ask them what they wanted for back to school. So I'll put frozen yogurt, frozen yogurt, frozen fruit in the bottom, and then fill these up, and then it has the plastic lid. I'll link all this below. So then you're making flavored yogurts too. So. This will be ready really day after tomorrow by the time both of these strain. Um, I don't save what comes out. Is that way? What is that called? Yeah. Sorry, his cash bucket. So if y'all save that and do something special with it, I'd be curious to know how I can use that. And Captain America is going to help me from... Kombucha is the brand. I have been growing kombucha, and so I'm gonna get those glasses out, and we're gonna, Danny's being a wild man here, and he's about to get his pajamas on, so he's not totally dressed. So we're gonna get these in bottles, and in the fridge, we'll be able to try them this weekend. So, if you watched a few grocery hauls ago, I had been buying kombucha at Aldi, and I also got a 12 pack at Sam's. I was trying different flavors. Sorry, the boys are so hyper. Um, today has been the most bizarre day with just everybody needing all the things. So I don't know how to make flavored kombucha. This was black tea and pure cane sugar mixed together that I then poured into the starter that had the big kombucha baby thing, which it just disappeared when I stirred it. So I don't know if it's at the bottom or it died. Oh my God. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to pour these in. I got one, two, three, four. I'm supposed to save 10% of this and then use it as my starter. where my scoby baby went. That's right there. Where? Oh, I see it. Okay. That looks really dark compared mm -hmm. to my... If I'm honest, I love kombucha, but having this grow and on my counter, I'm a little bit anxious to, but it's going to be weird.
Maybe after it's cold, it'll taste really good. It said to reserve 10%, so I'm like a little less than half. Yeah. So probably just this one more, right? Like that? That's... Okay, I just did it again. Good Lord. I don't know why it like doesn't... Okay. My little thing isn't... This one's plain still. Floating on the bottom. It's supposed to be floating on the top. I think you're saving about 20%. You could put in another 10%. Should I get a little bit more in this one then? Huh? <clears throat> so, it takes seven to 14 days to make four bottles of kombucha. I drink only a half of the, half of a jar. So I drink eight ounces a day in the afternoon. So this will last me a week. So it takes a week to make a week's worth. And each one of these is about 250 on sale. It stinks. Right, Captain America says it stinks. I'm wor I don't like that it's not floating. Okay, so now, should I pour all this into a clean jar? Who's how, going outside? I don't, know. I don't know how any of it works. Is it like your sourdough where you move it to a clean jar? But the jar had to be boiled. Like you had to put bleach, water. So I'll do that next time. I don't have the energy to do that right now. You got to drink five. What happened to it? Nothing happened to it. Okay, so I'm gonna restart eight tea bags. I'm gonna have to relook them on it's herbucha.com. I'll link that below on how to brew it. But I'll, um, I know it's eight black tea bags and I think a cup of sugar, obviously. And then I'll let that come to room temperature and then I'll add it back to this for another week. Okay. Okay, it's the next day. It is Friday, praise the Lord. Um, this morning, my Emma and Chris are coming to get their boys. We've had them for eight days. So it has been fun, but absolutely exhausting. They are not the best of sleepers and little Danny got sick and then Evan kind of struggles a little bit after days not being the center of attention so turn on the water anyways this morning brian took um evan to get a hearing test into the ent they had a really early appointment they had to leave it oops, at 6 a.m so uh they should be home soon so we're hoping to get everything cleaned up, get the animals fed, and finish all our school prep. Okay, so I went ahead and made the recipe that I talked about in my last grocery haul, the one from um, Acre Homestead. Becky had made this as a freezer meal, and so we, I went ahead and made this for us tonight. I did not film it because I was totally exhausted. The grandson's just left and I wanted to just get this done quick. I will link her video again below and you can watch the making of this through her video. I did have half a tray or I had half of it to put in a freezer meal so I'm hoping that we like it. When she made her freezer meal she went ahead and poured the sauce on. These are raw. Um, but the recipe says to put it on, to toss it in a bowl after it's cooked. So 
So I was kind of worried that maybe it would dry it out. So I have this, it's freezer safe. Um, this was half of the sauce. So I'm gonna just set this in the freezer on top of this. So hopefully we like this and I will let you know in the next video if we did. And then we have one freezer meal. Okay, friends, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. It is Friday night and we are wiped out from having our sweet grandbabies for eight days. There's Evan coming by with his music. I hear him. Oh, I'll have to edit that out because he is not dressed. Okay, guys, so I hope you all have a great weekend and we will see you real soon in another video. Bye bye. Guys, that's not me! Oh, jeez, <laughs> Look at those pictures. So I need to look at your back because I need to figure out what we should do for you. Do you see how? Ooh. Guys, y'all are like, y'all are fine. And I'm not.